Everybody, how's it going? This is the bald metal nerd coming at you with another wonderful video. Uh, in this one, we are about to test something out uh, that's been floating around YouTube a lot. For people who have this problem, we're going to be trying to see if we can clear the P0420 uh, engine code uh, by using lacquer thinner. Uh, this was originally uh, done by Scotty Kilmer, and there have been plenty of other videos talking about using the lacquer thinner method. Uh, since in, I'm just going to throw my hat into the ring uh, just to see what it does. And part of the reason I'm willing to do even entertain this is uh, before, you know, I tried to use some of the additives that were, quote, designed to, quote, clean your cat, like uh, Cataclean and Duralube and all that. And those things did work uh, for a while. I Like, I would go a bit maybe, you know, close to a thousand miles or so, at least hundreds and hundreds of miles, without the check engine light coming back on. So, there's clearly something to it, right? But those were much smaller amounts of uh, cleaner than what I poured in. So, basically, uh, what I did today is, and I'll show you guys here where the gas tank currently is. We're a bit under half a tank. Uh, when, the, when the gauge was around half a tank or so today, I poured in a gallon of lacquer thinner, and I drove this car very hard today, 107.2 miles so far, uh, and as you can see, the check engine light did not come off on its own. So I'm going to go ahead real quick, and uh, we are going to uh, clear, oh, well, it's going to take a minute, so I'm going to pause real quick. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and read the codes and make sure it's still the P0420, which is okay because I haven't cleared the code yet. So I'm going to go ahead and read the codes, and we'll see what we get. Okay, yeah, P0420. So, you know, not surprising. So we're going to go ahead, and we're actually going to erase the codes, because I did this uh, with both the Cataclean and the Duralube. to read codes and make sure there's nothing there. All right, read codes. We're gonna have, and as you can see, I the light went off on the dash. So no codes found. So we're, we're good, we're good. So clearly it did something, right? Um, you know, we will see. Uh, I'm gonna see how long I can drive this thing uh, before the... Uh, this comes back on, right? I will definitely give you guys updates over time and all that. So that's it. I'll see you guys in a while. Well, folks, as you can see, my uh, check engine light is back on even after the gallon of uh, lacquer thinner. So clearly that's not a long-term solution. Uh, I reset that uh, uh, tripometer about 100 miles after I put the... Um, after I put in the uh, the lacquer thinner and I reset my light at about that time. So I, I, in all actuality, I went about 800 miles uh, after the gallon of lacquer thinner. So clearly, uh, you know, I don't know if you've seen on my channel, but I've done several, several uh, videos on this subject. And uh, clearly, it's not a long-term solution adding any sort of, uh, you know, anything to my gas tank, unsurprisingly. So... You know, uh, my cats aren't rattling or anything, and the vehicle still drives completely normally and all that. It's not really impacting the vehicle in a negative way, uh, but I will take it to an exhaust place and kind of see what my options are besides replacing the catalytic converters on this thing. Because as you can see, this vehicle has over 200,000 miles on it. I'm not looking to spend that kind of money, uh, you know, on it to get rid of this check engine light that doesn't really mean a lot. But I'll see what my options are. And maybe I'll make a video on it. Maybe I won't, just depending on how it goes. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, this little trick or any of the other uh, catalytic converter cleaners I've talked about are worth trying. If you're getting this check engine light, it's definitely worth trying this trick out. Doesn't harm your uh, vehicle at all. It still performs completely normally after using these products. Um, it's worth a shot, but ultimately, for at least for me, didn't work. It may work for you. Who knows? Anyway. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys liked this. As always, live long, prosper. Keep on rocking. I'll see you in the next one.